In this video, you'll learn what is milling machine and how it works. Its parts. Types. Operations. Applications and more. Milling is the process of machining using rotary cutters to remove material by advancing a cutter into a workpiece. This can hold more than one tool at a time. The cutter rotates at a high speed and has many cutting edges, and it removes metal at a very fast rate. The milling machine can also hold one or more number of cutters at a time. It is one of the most important machines in the workshop. All the operations can perform with high accuracy. The metal removal rate is high as compared to a lathe machine, planner machine, and shaper machine. It has good accuracy and better surface finish, and it is widely used in various production works. Now let's find out the different parts of milling machine. Base Column Saddle Table Overhanging arm Front brace Spindle an arbor. The base of the machine is gray iron casting and serves as a foundation member for all other parts which rests on it. The base carries the column at its one end. The column is the main supporting frame mounted on the base. It is box shaped and houses all the driving mechanism for the spindle and feed table. The knee is a fixed gray iron casting that slides up and down on the vertical ways of the column face. The adjustment of height is affected by an elevating screw mounted on the base that also supports the knee. The top face of the knee forms a slideway for the saddle that gives cross travel to the table. The saddle is placed on top of the knee, which slides on guideways set exactly at 90 degrees to the column face. A cross feed screw is used to move it horizontally. The top of the saddle is precisely machined to provide guideways for the table. The table rests on guideways on the saddle and travels longitudinally. A lead screw is provided to move the table horizontally by hand or power. The longitudinal travel of the table possibly limited by fixing trip dogs on the side of the table. Overhanging arm is mounted on the top of the column. It extends outwards the column face and works as burring support for the arbor. Front brace is the extra support that provides rigidly to the arbor and the knee. The front base is fitted between the knee and overarm. The spindle of the machine is located in the upper part of the column and receives power from the motor through belts, gears, and clutches and transmitted to the arbor. The accuracy in metal machining by the cutter depends on the strength, accuracy, and rigidity of the spindle. Arbor is an extension of the machine spindle on which milling cutters are securely mounted and rotated. These are made with taper shanks. The arbor may be supported at the farthest end from the overhanging arm. Or may be of cantilever type which is called stub arbor. Now let's find out how milling machine works. The working principle of the milling machine applied in the metal removing operation. The work is rigidly clamped on the table and revolving multi-teeth cutter mounted either on a spindle. The cutter revolves at a normal speed and the work fed slowly past the cutter. The work can be fed in a longitudinal, vertical, or cross direction. After the work is fed, the cutter teeth remove the metal from the surface to produce the desired shape. Now let's find out the different types of the milling machine. Column and knee type milling machine. There are five types in column and knee type milling machine. They are Hand milling machine Plane or horizontal milling machine Vertical milling machine Universal milling machine And omniversal milling machine 2. Manufacturing type or fixed bed type milling machine In this there are three types. They are Simplex milling machine Duplex milling machine And triplex milling machine 3. Planar type milling machine 4. Special type milling machine In this there are 7 types. They are Rotary table milling machine Drum milling machine 
Profile Milling Machine Planetary Milling Machine Tracer Controlled Milling Machine Pantograph Milling Machine and NCCNC Milling Machine Column and type Milling Machine The column and type is the most used type of milling machine for general workshops. In this machine, the table is mounted on the knee casting, which in turn mounted on the vertical slides of the main column. The knee is vertical and adjustable on the column, and the table can be moved up and down to accommodate work in various heights. Hand Milling Machine It is simplest type in all of other milling machine. In this the table feeding is controlled by hand. The cutter is mounted on a horizontal arbor and is rotated by power. This type of milling machine is small in size and suitable for light and simple milling operations. For example, machining slots, grooves, and keyways. Plain Milling Machine These are much stronger than hand millers. The table feeding is done either by hand or power. The plain milling machine having a horizontal spindle is also called as a horizontal spindle milling machine. The table may be fed in a longitudinal, cross, or vertical directions. Universal Milling Machine It can be adapted to a wide range of milling operations. Here the table can be swiveled to any angle up to 45 degrees on either side of the normal position. In addition to three movements, the table may have the fourth movement when it is fed at an angle to the milling cutter. Helical milling operation can also be performed. This machine can produce spur, bevel, spiral, twist drill, reamer, milling cutter. All operations that are performed on a shaper can be done using a universal milling machine. Omniversal milling machine. Here the table has four movements. It can also be tilted in a vertical plane by providing a swivel arrangement at the knee. The additional swiveling arrangement of the table helps in machining spiral grooves in reamers and bevel gears. Vertical Milling Machine Here the position of the spindle is vertical or perpendicular to the table. This type of machine is adapted for machining grooves, slots, and flat surfaces. The machine may be of the plane or universal type, and has all the movements of the table for a proper setting and feeding the work. The spindle head is clamped to the vertical column which is swiveled at an angle. It allowing the milling cutter fixed on the spindle to work on angular surfaces. Manufacturing or Fixed Bed Type Milling Machine these machines are large, heavy and rigid in construction. These machines differ from column and knee type milling machines by the construction of its table mounting. The table is mounted directly on the ways of a fixed bed. The table movement is restricted to reciprocating at a right angle to the spindle axis with no provisions for cross or vertical adjustment. It is classified as simplex, duplex, triplex based on a machine provided with a single, double and triple spindle heads respectively. Planar Type Milling Machine This type of milling machine are also called as Plano Miller. It is a massive machine used for heavy-duty work. These are having spindle heads adjustable in the vertical and transverse direction. This machine has a cross rail capable of being raised or lowered carrying the cutters. It has their heads, and the saddles, all supported by rigid uprights. This arrangement of driving multiple cutter spindles enables a number of work surfaces to be machined thereby it obtains the great reduction in production time. In a planer, the table moves to give the cutting speed. But in a plano milling machine, the table movement gives the feed. Special types of milling machine. Milling machines of non-conventional design have been developed to suit special purposes. These machines has a spindle for rotating the cutter and provision for moving the tool or the work in different directions. There are various special types of milling machines available in the workshops. Rotary Table Milling Machine Here the table is circular in nature and rotates about a vertical axis. 
Here cutters are set at different heights, which results in one cutter roughing the workpiece and other one cutter finishing them. The advantage of this machine is that continuous loading and unloading of workpieces can be done by the operator while is in progress. Planetary Milling Machine Here workpiece is held stationary while the revolving cutter. The cutter moves in a traveling path to finish a cylindrical surface on the workpiece, either internally or externally. This machine is also adapted for milling internal and external threads. Pantograph Milling Machine a pantograph machine can duplicate a job by using a pantograph mechanism. It allows the size of the workpiece reproduced to be smaller than, equal to or greater than the size of a template. A pantograph is a mechanism that is generally constructed of four bars or links, which are connected in the form of a parallelogram. These machines are available in two-dimensional and three-dimensional models. Profiling Milling Machine a profiling machine duplicated the full size of the template attached to the machine. Here the spindle can be adjusted vertically and the cutter horizontally across the table. A hardened guide pin regulates the movement of the cutter. The longitudinal movement of the table and the crosswise movement of the cutter head follows the movement of the guide pin on the template. Now let's find out the various operations that can be performed in a milling machine. Plain Milling Operation This is the most common type of milling operations. Plain milling is performed to produce a plain, flat, and horizontal surfaces. It is also known as slab milling. The work in the cutter are secured properly on the machine while performing the cut. The depth of cut is set by rotating the vertical feed screw of the table. And the machine is started after selecting the right speed and feed. Face Milling Operation It is the simplest milling operation, performed by a face milling cutter rotated about an axis perpendicular to the work surface. And carry it out in plain milling, the cutter is mounted on a stub arbor to design a flat surface. The depth of cut is adjusted by rotating the crossfeed screw of the table. Side Milling Operation it is the operation of producing a flat vertical surface on the side of a workpiece by using a side milling cutter. The depth of cut is set by rotating the vertical feed screw of the table. Straddle milling operation. It is the operation of producing a flat vertical surface on both sides of a workpiece by using two side milling cutter mounted on the same arbor. Distance between the two cutters is adjusted by using suitable spacing collars. The straddle milling is commonly used to design a square or hexagonal surfaces. Angular milling operation The angular milling is the operation of producing an angular surface on a workpiece at right angles of the axis of the spindle. The angular groove may be single or double angle and may be a varying included angle according to the type and contour of the angular cutter used. One simple example of angular milling is the production of V-blocks. Gang milling operation It is the operation of machining several surfaces of a workpiece simultaneously by feeding the table against a number of cutters, having the same or different diameters, mounted on the arbor of the machine. The method saves much of machining time and is widely used in repetitive work. Form Milling Operation It is the operation of producing the irregular contour by using form cutters. The irregular shape may be convex, concave, or of any other shape. After machining, the formed surface is inspected by a template gauge. Cutting rate for form milling is 20% to 30% less than that of the plain milling. Profile Milling Operation it is the operation of reproduction, an outline of a template, or complex shape of a master, dies on a workpiece. Different cutters are used for profile milling. An end mill is one of the widely used milling cutters in profile milling work. Other than these, there are also various operations performed, such as end milling, saw milling, 
keyways, grooves, and slot. Gear milling. Helical milling. Cam milling. Thread milling operations are done in milling machine. That's it. Thanks for watching. If you like this video then please share with your friends and subscribe to the channel for more engineering content.